I'm really upset with Bank of Hawaii because they're closing my account because I choose not to wear a mask. I am a healthy woman and they have no right to act as my doctor and tell me what to do with my body. They are retaliating against me after they ganged up on me at the bank with multiple tellers and staff and security guards closing the door in my face and refusing to hear me read my rights. They are retaliating. They are forcibly closing my account. I served them a cease and desist today and we'll see how it plays out in court. I am serving my cease and desist letter and we have Kim over here she's gonna be closing her bank account because we are standing together against discrimination and let's do this Aloha If it's a health risk then by all means you can step to the side I can actually go get the manager or someone so I'm actually going to be serving you a cease and desist because I don't want my bank account closed and you cannot forcibly close me based on discrimination because I'm a healthy woman and I do not want to wear a mask. That's why you did not allow me into the bank and that's why you have decided to close my account. I am not agreeing at all. I see you have a withdrawal slip or something like that. I'm not agreeing to close my account. As I mentioned, this is discrimination and I'm not standing for it and I'm serving you a cease and desist to immediately stop harassing me. So we're following the, the state of Hawaii laws. No, and you're not. The mandate is not a law. You keep saying that. We have it in writing. We have it in recording. The mandate is not a law. So you're saying that you're following a law? Which, what law is it? So again, I am... But that if there's no business that you want to conduct right now, so I'm going to... Well, I have a question. You keep saying it's a law. What law are you following? Yeah. So what I follow is right what it says, is that we follow the state mandate. You're Protect following this sign on the wall. Yes. And you know there's you know exemptions from those mandates? And did you yes, ever stop to see if she had any of those exemptions? The exemptions are, whatever the exemptions are, we're, we're appeasing her to come outside. She's, she's not going to wear a mask, she's not going to the branch. So I we're going to process it outside the branch. So it's not a public accommodation? It is law. a public accommodation. So she's outside. In this public yeah. accommodation under the law. With, with the mandate, without a mask, right? without a mask, the, the, the city and county mandate requires the bank to enforce people wearing masks in the branch. Have That's you read mandate. it? Because there's exemptions and it says that the exemption to be is The exemption for Bank of Hawaii is we're going to accommodate you outside because you're not wearing a mask. That's not how the exemption reads. You don't. The, you you don't the, get to dictate. You don't get to dictate what clear. bank. But you don't get to dictate what Bank of Hawaii interprets the mandate as. Well, it's pretty clear that after she stood up for her rights, you guys are retaliating against we're her not. by we're sending. Not. We're not. We're, no, we're, we're not. We're giving you. We're giving you two options. We're not going to talk. We're not going to talk to you about her account. Yeah, so your two options are. Well, you can talk to me. I'm standing right here. Okay. We're going to close your account today. You have the option of taking the cash right now. Or you have the option we can send you a cashier's check to your address. Those are the two So choices. the two options are to forcibly close my account against my will? Yes. 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 Okay, right. well, that's why I sent you a cease and desist. Yeah. So I will share this. So we will scan this and provide And I still haven't heard it. what law you're following. You pointed at a sign on the door. What law? What code? And how you can deny the full public enjoyment of these public accommodations, right? The Constitution of Hawaii is not waived. There are exemptions to this mandate. This lady has rights. She stood up for her rights, and you're retaliating against her by closing her account. So you're following the Hawaii emergency order mandate. Excuse me, I just asked you a question. I heard you. Yeah. And you didn't respond. So I'm going to go ahead and get the scanned over and send it into our legal department for review. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did you get their titles? Yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name, sir? Wow. Won't even share his name, but he's happy to tell me that I'm breaking the law. Well, I got that on film. That's really unfair. I got that on film. I just closed my account. Um, I've been with the Bank of Hawaii for the last 21 years. I'm taking off the mask. I'm outside. Okay. And I'm a healthy health care provider. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to wear the mask. Okay. I'm out of your business. Um, this young lady here, I'm here to represent Jane. She's come here because they are wanting to close her account. My friend Rai that worked for the Department of Health here, he had his account closed because he wasn't willing to wear a mask. 
he no longer works for our Department of Health because of them not letting him use actual data that our community needs to know. So I will be taking my money to another bank that's going to give us a wonderful customer service. And I hope Jane does too after this. Aloha. Wait, don't even start me on masks. Hey, well, I come from the Nazi lockdown state. My husband's Hungarian yeah. and his family was locked up. Oh, yeah, no, I agree with it. Well, you're basically thanks, socialist and Nazi. Thanks right? for also so, chiming in. That they're wrong, right? They yeah. like to gang up and bully up on yeah, people. Yeah, I can't believe they're like, like, oh, you were harassing us. I'm like, there were five people around. Right. The manager was a lovely lady, you guys. I used to live in American Samoa when I was in high school. And I went to Tapuna High School, and she's from American Samoa. She gave me her card. Um, so I'm going to educate yeah, them on the laws and the yeah. rights. Oh, the police, I'll educate them too because I want to go to the police station. Uh, yeah. We should have talked to you as well. We, we, we can. <laughs> We're right here with the cameras. Let's talk to them if they'd like to talk to us. Let's just stand here and wait. But that they're wrong, right? They yeah. like to grant gang up and bully up on yeah, people. Yeah, I can't believe they're like, oh, you were harassing us. I'm like, there were five people around. The manager was a lovely lady, you guys. I used to live in American Samoa when I was in high school. And I went to Tapuna High School and she's from American Samoa. She gave me her card. Um, so I'm going to educate yeah, them on the laws and the yeah. rights. Oh, the police, I'll educate them too because I want to go to the police, to the police? station. Uh, yeah. We should have talked to you as well. We, we, we can. <laughs> We're right here with the cameras. Let's talk to them if they'd like to talk to us. Let's just stand here and wait. Let's see if they come up to us. Might as well. Today, today I went to the fire department here locally. I was going to get a drink before I came to the Bank of Hawaii. I saw a, a fire department. I decided to go and educate them. So I gave them my contact information and I've asked them if I could have a meeting with them. And then um, I went to Starbucks to get a drink, and I uh, went to educate the manager there, lovely lady. Um, she wasn't aware of the laws, neither were the firefighters. And uh, she had said, everyone that I talked to unfortunately says that they are just doing their job, but they don't know the, their rights and they don't know our laws here. So that's where us, we the people, for the people, have to go out in our community. And we need to start every single store, every single small business. We need to be out there educating them what their rights are. We all need to stand up together. We are going on three years of this nonsense.